Hi everyone, my name is Lydia. I work at Willis Tower, which sits at the heart of downtown Chicago. Each year, tens of thousands of students visit us here at the Tower, many of them on field trips with their classmates and teachers. This year is a little different though, right? While we may not be able to welcome you in person, we'd still like to show you around. Many of you are going to school from home and can't go on a normal field trip, but I'd like to take you on a short virtual one instead. We'll talk about the history of the Tower, how the skyscraper is changing, and show you how the subjects you're studying right now, like math, art, and science, all come together at Willis Tower. And after the field trip, you can learn even more by working with your classmates, teachers, and parents to complete a fun activity sheet, which is linked below. So let's get started. Raise your hand if you've ever heard Willis Tower called Sears Tower. I see quite a few hands, but do you know why some people call it that? Do you know what Sears is? I see quite a few heads shaking no. That's all right. Sears was a large store that was founded more than 100 years ago, and you can buy all sorts of things there. Everything from clothes and watches to bed sheets and gardening tools. Sears was a bit like the Amazon of its time. What do I mean by that? Well, rather than shopping in a store, Sears was one of the first companies to send catalogs to people. Now, catalogs were essentially big books, about this big, with pictures of things people could shop for and buy. Then, those items would be shipped directly to their homes, kind of like Amazon. Sears, later called Sears Roebuck & Company, was really successful. Seemingly, everyone shopped with the Sears catalog, and the company grew and grew. So, Sears built the Sears Tower in downtown Chicago nearly 50 years ago in 1973. And because the company needed an office for all of its employees, the building served as the company's headquarters. At the time, it was the tallest building in the world, standing at 110 stories and 1,453 feet tall. So how long do you think it took to build the world's largest building 50 years ago? It took three years with 2,000 people working on the building. This included installing nearly 1,000 toilets, more than 145,000 light fixtures, and 25,000 miles of electric cable. That's enough cable to wrap all the way around the world. But since that time, so many things have changed. In 1982, almost 40 years ago, two huge antennas were placed at the top of the tower, making it even taller, 1,706 feet tall to be exact. You've probably seen the antenna change color at night, usually to represent a holiday, an observation, or to root on our favorite local Chicago sports teams. They can change your color from red to blue to purple to yellow, and in the last few years, we've upgraded them so that they can glow two different colors at one time. In 2009, Sears Tower was renamed and became known as Willis Tower. Today, dozens of companies, including airlines, law firms, businesses that build roads and bridges, and countless others call Willis Tower home. How many companies do you think have offices in Willis Tower? Would you believe that it's nearly 100? And how many people do you think go to work at Willis Tower every day? It's 15,000. With that many people working every day, Willis Tower is like a city under one roof. And while Willis Tower is no longer the tallest building in the world, it's the second tallest building in North America. We like to take advantage of our height, and the building includes Sky Deck, the tallest observation deck in North America, which is on the 103rd floor. On a clear day, you can see as far away as 50 miles in four states, including Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Sky Deck is also home to the ledge, which includes glass boxes that allow you to step out on the side of the building to be suspended 1,353 feet above the ground. I'm afraid of heights, but one day I was feeling particularly brave and I went on the ledge 
And I've got to tell you, it's amazing. You've got to give it a try. During your next trip to the tower, you'll have to come to Catalog. It's a brand new, massive five-story addition at the base of the tower that includes restaurants and stores. And on the roof of Catalog, we're creating an outdoor park with trees, flowers, and plenty of space to relax. Speaking of the name Catalog, any guesses on how that name came about? That's right, the Sears catalog. Very good. Well, that about wraps up our virtual tour. Thank you so much for joining me on this virtual field trip. And as I mentioned, we really hope to see you in person soon. And don't forget to print out your virtual field trip activity sheet, which is filled with interesting and fun information. For example, you can build your very own Willis Tower. And we want your parents and teachers to post pictures of your tower on Willis Tower's Instagram and Facebook pages using the hashtag Street to Sky, where we'll highlight some of your cool work. Well, until we connect next time, stay safe and study hard.